I kind of feel nostalgic because my dad started it as just a, a, a small golf outing for a little hospital. It used to draw maybe 70, 80 people, and it's, uh, he's been gone for 34 years now, so I feel nostalgic. You know, it's kind of a piece of him here. This will be the year that we raise over a million dollars that goes back to Newton Medical Center from this particular event. And uh, we're very pleased to be here. It looks like the weather's going to hold. We hope it does. And uh, we've got a shotgun start. It's the first time we've ever done a shotgun at this event. Uh, we usually have tea times. We're going to do a shotgun today. It's going to tee off in about uh, 30 minutes or so. And we're all excited. We've got about 155 golfers, I believe, 145 or 155 golfers. And we're ready to go. It's going to be a great day. And we've got a lot of prizes for later. We've got uh, two brand new cars for holes in one. We've got a trip to Aruba. All kinds of hole-in-one prizes, all kinds of 50-50 raffles going on. We're going to give away $15,000 to somebody tonight. So we're really excited. It's going to be a great event, a great event for the community, and a great event for the hospital. For Newton Medical Center, this is our uh, second biggest fundraiser of the year, uh, second to our, our Wine and Roses event. Um, and it's a special um, occasion this year. Uh, since we've been doing this since 1997, we've raised over $1 million for the foundation that supports the hospital. So we're happy to uh, continue to provide this uh, fundraising effort uh, for uh, Newton Hospital or Newton Medical Center. This event is the, one of the highlights of the entire social calendar for the hospital uh, in that it brings so many of the community leaders together in one place where we can celebrate the medical center and all the good works that we do in a real you know, fun environment. And, you know, there's no great golfers here on this course today, so everybody's here just for fun and then to, to celebrate you know, the great things that are happening at the hospital. And there are some great things. Can you share them with the public? Oh, sure. So no, no, um, there's no uh, surprise that uh, we're putting a lot of time and effort into the facility itself and upgrading everything from the physical plant to the equipment inside. Uh, we've just recently uh, put the, the wheels in motion to acquire the latest uh, CT, 64 slice CT, uh, for our emergency room, uh, continuing to put more money and, and, uh, and technology into the emergency room. As you may have heard, we, we've just recently installed the stroke robot. So we are able to, to see stroke patients robotically to, to uh, a 24-7 uh, coverage in the Atlantic Neuroscience Center at Overlook Hospital with consulting neurologists to diagnose strokes and treat them even better. Uh, as you know, stroke is a leading killer in this country. Uh, so really building out uh, all the cardiovascular, the, the neuroscience, uh, and oncology services here in the hospital to continue to provide the, the kind of care that the residents of Sussex and Pike County really demand um, and, and really to bolster our emergency services because as a community hospital there's some basic things we need to do and, and uh, really providing the best in care from an emergency room uh, perspective is really key uh, to, to the services that the community expects from us and so a lot of effort being placed in there as well. Uh, in addition, we're building out the new, uh, the new parts of the hospital. We've got a, a, a construction project underway for 22 new patient rooms, all private rooms, which is, again, um, a, a real a highlight for the calendar for uh, next year. We hope to open in the first quarter of next year with these new patient rooms. And then as those rooms come on board, it gives us, uh, it gives us opportunity to start doing some additional renovations in some of the other rooms around the facility so that we can you know, more or less keep an ongoing uh, construction project uh, in-house and continuing to build out the services.